Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a uh, contact form and the contact form uh, processing PHP file. Um, you will need um, either an actual running server that can run uh, SMTP uh, mail server or you'll need a, a, an actual server online um, with, a IS, with a provider um, to fully test this. Um, so start off with we need uh, index.php file and we need a, a form underscore process.php where all the um, processing data is going to be. So let's um, get on with this. We'll give it a title first of all. I'm going to fly through doing uh, this. So I'm just going to make an h1 tag and then uh, contact form. Get this done as quick as possible and we can crack on. Okay, so what we need first of all is form action equals um, form underscore process dot php method we're going to be using post because we're going to be sending lots of data across we'll close this form off if I can do it ok then we're going to be using tables uh, main reason being I'm just saving time ok but predominantly uh, I would use uh, divs and I would use CSS and so on but uh, like I said I just want to save time because it means I don't have to do any CSS with you guys then uh, width equals I think 750 will be ok let's just close this table off ok and what we need is a row and what we need here is three columns and in the first column we're going to put a bold tag here and we're just going to say name and in the next one we need input type equals text name equals name this is for the name field uh, whoops and value equals which we're going to come back to later okay so what we can do with this is copy all of this here and then come to this and we'll just write the surname and then in here we write surname as well uh, obviously I'm using lowercase for all my PHP names or the, the input text fields names just that's for the um, PHP mainly so, so phone number and here we'll just say phone copy this again and we'll just say email address and we'll name this email and then we'll come to this one and we'll say websites websites and we're going to put a value in here of http four slash four semicolon four slash come to here and we'll call this comments whoops yeah, there we go and let's scrap this completely and we'll put a text area in here and we'll say columns equals what was it 26 I believe and rows we'll say six and name equals comments and we'll close this text area off Ok, the last thing we need is, um, we'll just hand code this, oh, we're this up. ok, and then we'll say column span equals 2, and then close that off, and this is where our input buttons are going to be, input type equals Submit name equals resets, and you're probably wondering why I've used the submit button for a reset button, but we'll come to that uh, later. Reset form and then input type equals what's this? Just copy this, paste this here, copy that, paste that there. So there, change this to S, and jobs 
get in, we'll save this, come to Firefox, roll there. Done something wrong here. Done something wrong. Done something wrong. I'm gonna pause the video quickly, find what done. Okay, what I did wrong here, if you can just see, is forward slash. So we'll take that away. Come back to this and restart this. And there we go. It looks a lot better now. So we're just gonna bump this up to the top and then we're pretty much done on this. So we're just gonna say vert vertical line or via line, top, save, come back here, refresh, and done. Okay, and as you can see, if we press submit, it takes us to form underscore process. Press sub reset, it takes us form underscore process. But the reason I'll describe this quickly is because we're gonna be using um, sessions within this to basically display errors and to keep a sticky form is that a reset um, button or input type reset does not clear sessions okay so we have to send our form to form underscore process to reset the um, sessions okay so it can come back to have a clear field that's why we're doing it predominantly if you was using javascripts and so on then you could click the reset form button as a reset and it would clear the form um, so that's about it. Right, that's this part of the tutorial done. I'll see you in part two, which will be um, starting to um, to do the actual form underscore process um, page. Okay, well, uh, my name is David Thorne. I'm from www.thornwebdesign.de and I'll see you in uh, the second part of this tutorial.